words really do fail me to try and explain the frustration and anger that I have knowing that this fire could have been avoided and it was all down to a campfire and some barbecues. Uh, it makes me really angry um, because that incident at Wareham used a lot of resources from lots of different counties, which took resources away from other areas of Dorset and Wiltshire and other counties that could have needed our help and would increase our attendance times. So he's a male sand lizard. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you're just about to release him having picked him up from a burnt area. You down there. You'll be off in the shots. There. Come on. Keep on. Many of our communities uh, use the forest for recreation. And of course, it's no, no longer uh, the, the, the beautiful area that it once was. It will recover. Um, but also there are some, some significant health impacts from forest fires. They produce particularly a lot of particulate matter, uh, which is why you'll see firefighters wear respirators, but members of the public don't have these respirators. Uh, and the, the recent Wareham Forest Fire had quite an impact on air quality as far away as Southampton. So how do we stop having this devastation again? The message is quite clear and simple. Stop having barbecues and campfires in the countryside. And if you want a barbecue, have it at home. And when you're out in the countryside, why not take a picnic?